going on everybody? I am the Game Salmon and welcome to Pokemon Heart Gold Randomized Nuzlocke. Now when it comes to Pokemon, you guys have been asking me to do a lock challenge for a very long time now. And I finally have some time to decide to do a proper Nuzlocke challenge. I decided to do it over Heart Gold because Heart Gold is one of my absolute favorite Pokemon games of all time alongside Soul Silver. I think it's a very good remake of the Gen 2 games. I love the Johto region, I love the Pokemon that come out of that region. And I like how in this game the Pokemon follow you around, so it's kind of a throwback to uh, Pikachu following you around in Pokemon Yellow. So, oh, and I randomized the experience just to make it a little bit more interesting. Now, for those of you who do not know what a Nuzlocke challenge is, there are three main rules to a Nuzlocke challenge. The first one is, you can only catch the first Pokemon you encounter in each new area you explore. So, after you encounter that first Pokemon, whether you catch it, whether you faint it, whether it runs away, that area is now considered dead, you can no longer catch any more Pokemon from that area. Uh, the second rule, and probably the most important rule for a Nuzlocke, if a Pokemon faints, it's considered dead, and I can no longer use that Pokemon, and I have to put it in the PC forever. Uh, and so when we uh, finally get to a PC, I'm going to be setting up a dead box uh, for all the Pokemon that end up fainting uh, through this Let's Play. And the third and final major rule, I must nickname everything so that I create this emotional attachment to the Pokemon uh, that end up fainting. So those are the main three rules. There's a lot of variations, and I'm actually going to throw in just a few additional clauses uh, to these rules. The first is the Shiny Clause. If we encounter a Shiny, that Pokemon is okay to catch, uh, even if we've already caught the first Pokemon uh, from a particular area. Uh, another clause is the Dupes Clause. Uh, that is, if I uh, enter an area and the first Pokemon that I encounter is a Pokemon uh, or a Pokemon of the same evolutionary line of a Pokemon that I already have caught, I can skip that Pokemon and attempt to catch the second Pokemon uh, that I encounter in that area. Also, uh, when it comes to static Pokemon, Pokemon like Ho-Oh and Snorlax that we have to walk up to uh, and start a battle with, uh, those Pokemon are okay to catch, they are not considered uh, part of like the uh, first Pokemon that I encounter in the new area rule. Um, and I believe that's everything about uh, the Nuzlocke. All of everything that I'm saying right now is going to be in the description below if you want to know what rules that I am following. Um, also, a few things about the randomizer. Uh, only Pokemon are randomized, I wanted to make that very clear, so, uh, if we encounter a Pikachu, it's going to be Electric type, with the same, uh, moveset and abilities that you would expect from a Pikachu. We're not gonna get some crazy Pikachu that's Grass type that knows Fire Blast, okay? That's colored purple, I mean, it's nothing crazy like that. Uh, like I have done with another, uh, one of my playthroughs. Also, trainers will use Pokemon of similar strength as, as they would in the original Heart Gold game. Uh, this is to prevent uh, the game from getting too easy, so um, if we battle uh, a gym leader, there's a, s a very small chance that they'll be throwing out a Magikarp. Um, I also randomized TMs because why not? Uh, also, I added this idea that I can use an HM slave if need be. Uh, because this game is randomized and because of the restrictions put on me by the Nuzlocke, uh, there, I might be put in a situation where, um, I cannot progress through the game because the Pokemon I, that I have, um, can't learn Cut, can't learn Surf, and so I am going to allow myself to catch, uh, a Pokemon as an HM slave if need be to continue to continue to progress through the game, but I cannot count that Pokemon as a Pokemon that I can officially use in battle. Um, also, legendaries are completely active, uh, I can encounter legendaries as wild Pokemon, and so, you know, cross our fingers, we don't encounter a legendary, but, uh, that is active, and I think that is everything that I need to say about, uh, the Nuzlocke and the randomizer before we get started. Also, uh, I've been wanting to find out more ways that I can increase activity on my videos and increase this interaction between me and you, uh, uh, as the viewer, and one of the ways I thought about doing that is during longer playthroughs, I want to be asking you questions that you can answer in the comment section or give you something to think about that you can talk about in the comment section. And so, um, as you can see below my head, uh, there is a question, and you guys will be picking uh, what starter 
well, you guys will be picking my starter. Uh, the starters are going to be completely random, and so I am allowing you guys to uh, pick which starter I am going to choose, and uh, the option to uh, nickname uh, whatever starter we end up getting. Uh, so there is going to be a straw poll in the description uh, for you to click on to vote on whatever Pokemon you would like me to pick. And with that being said, I think that is everything that I need to say. Let us go ahead into the game. No info needed. We know how to play Pokemon, or at least we hope so. If this is the first time you're ever watching, you know, someone play Pokemon, well, I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> Yawn! Huh? A guest at this hour? Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know about this world. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. What Pokemon are you going to send out, Professor Oak? Oh, yeah, Meryl. Is this randomized? Did I make an oopsie? We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. Typically, in a randomizer, the Pokemon that, uh... The professor throws out at the beginning is randomized, but Meryl's the Pokemon that would typically be thrown out in this case. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Okay, hopefully it's if it's it's randomized. Uh, some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or are you a girl? Won't you please tell me? Well, the last time I checked, I was a boy. So you were a boy then? Probably. Please tell me your name. Absolutely, my name is... Salmon. That's the name we're sticking with. Your name is Salmon? Yes. Salmon! Are you ready? Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Fun experiences, difficult experiences. There's so much waiting for you. Dreams, adventure, let's go to the world! of Pokemon. I'll see you later. Maybe next episode. Eh, sometime soon. Okay, let's go ahead and figure out what starters we are going to be having. It's been a very long time since I've played a Nuzlocke challenge. The last Nuzlocke challenge I played was two years ago, you know, before I uh, had a Pokemon channel. Uh, and I, I, I ended up losing that one. Uh, so, hopefully, I'm crossing our fingers. I'm crossing my fingers! That we're gonna win this one. I'd really love, um, well, it, it's a very satisfying feeling when you win a Nuzlocke challenge. So, hi, Salmon, you're finally awake. Your friend Lyra was just here. She was playing hide and seek with her Meryl. Oh, I almost forgot. Our acquaintance, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask of you. You know where his lab is, right? It's next door to us. By the way, do you have everything you need to go out? Here, use this bag to carry things. I like how bag is capitalized. That's not correct grammar. Uh, this is your trainer card. Here you can save a record of your progress. These are also rather helpful. Ooh, options. Okay. Let's try, uh, just try touching the buttons and you'll know what to do in no time. Okay, let's actually go through the options real quick. Because I know I want to set the tech speed as fast as we can. Uh, battle scene on. Battle style. Oh, I didn't think about that. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and leave it at shift for this playthrough. We'll, we'll leave it at shift. This is something I'll think about in later Pokemon uh, playthroughs. Uh, sound doesn't really matter. Uh, button mode normal. Frame. Let's pick out what frame we would like. Ooh, I kind of like that one. That one kind of fits with everything. Ooh, so does that. Okay, window type 6, window type 8. Um, oh my goodness, how many window types are there? Window type 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, so there's 20. Uh, let's go with 6. Nice and basic. Alrighty. And I believe that is everything. Alright, uh, anything else, Mother? Anything else that you have to say to me? Professor Elm is waiting for you, dear. Please go and help him. Okay, let's figure out what Pokemon we have to choose from. Or, excuse me, uh, what you have to choose from, since you guys are going to be picking out my Pokemon. Hello, Meryl. Hello, Lyra. I found your Meryl. Bye, Meryl. Bye, Lyra. Okay, uh, moving on then. All right. 
Ooh, let's go uh, back here and talk to our rival. I think we're going to be naming him in the next episode. This is also the famous... Uh, so this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? If you guys have any suggestions of what to name my rival, uh, please let me know in the comments below. Alright, Professor Elm. Hi, Sam, and I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days, but before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk with Pokemon, just like your friend Lyra does. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon, but walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. So I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon outside of its Pokeball to see if this brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people? The device over there has some Pokemon you could choose from. Oh, hey, I got an email. Hmm? Uh-huh. Okay. Hey, listen, I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. Now, I am 95% sure that Mr. Pokemon, that's not his real name. I'm 95% sure that's not his real name. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I got an email from him saying that this time it's real. It's probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still so busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know! You can go in our place, right? Can we count on you? You can choose one of the Pokemon over there. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, now we get to figure out what Pokemon we get to choose from to figure out how we're going to start off this Heart Gold randomized Nuzlocke. All right. Ooh, Larvitar! Oh, that's an exciting pick, actually. So Larvitar is the first option that we have. Our second option is... Nuzleaf! Ah, oh, the grass Pokemon. Okay, that's not too bad. I'd be a little... Mm, it's got some weaknesses, but... Not a bad choice for uh, the beginning of a Nuzlocke. Okay. And our third and final choice is... Trico! Okay, well, that well that's a starter Pokemon. That's, that's a little boring. Still not a bad Pokemon. You know, Sceptile, not a bad Pokemon to have. Okay. So, there is a link to a straw poll in the, des in the description below. I want you to click on that straw poll and vote whether you want me to start off this game with a Larvitar, a Nuzleaf, or a Trico. Uh, also, in the comment section, you can also vote in the comment section. I will take that into consideration if there's like a tie or something. Uh, or something like if it's very close uh, in the um, straw poll. But I'd also like you to give me ideas for nicknames. So I want you to vote on the Pokemon uh, and give me an idea for a nickname. Now that is going to be the end of this episode. I'm really excited to get into this game. It's been such a long time since I've done a Nuzlocke. Hopefully we're going to go all the way and beat the Nuzlocke. Just cross our fingers. That's all I got for you for this episode, so thank you guys so much for watching, I will see you guys in the next episode.